Did you know you can print a bed full of prints one print at a time? I'll show you how to do it on today's film of Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. A belt printer allows you to print multiple prints but one at a time. But what if you have an Ender 3 or an Ender 3 V2? Well, Cura has a feature called Print Sequence, which allows you to take a bed full of prints and print them one at a time. Let me show you how to use it. I've placed the chep cube on the bed and I'm going to move it to the back corner and then I'm going to multiply it by one. Just add one more chep cube. And the order of how I place these becomes important. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to rotate it so it looks different. One has an X showing, this one has the chep showing. Now I'm going to make one more and move that to the front and then I'm going to rotate that so it's got a Y facing forward. So then I'll have a Y, a chep, and an X. And the reason I bring this up is because the order that you put them on the bed determines the print sequence. Now I'll go into the print settings and I'll search for print sequence or just print SEQ and it comes up under special modes where it says all at once or I click on it and it says one at a time. If you don't see this in your print settings click on the gear that'll take you to the setting visibility search on print sequence again or print SEQ and there it is make sure it's checked and then it should appear in your settings. I'm going to select one at a time and look what happens each chep cube now has like a keep out area around it. And if you look at the height, it shrunk down to just slightly bigger than the chep cube. So you can't print a real tall one and a real short one. They have to be about the same height. Where do those boxes come from? If you go to Manage Printers, Machine Settings, these settings right here for the print head are what form that box. So they're positioned so they don't interfere when it prints. And right now it says unable to slice. It won't let me slice them because they're too close. So I need to move these guys further out. As long as the print itself is outside one of the main big boxes, it'll let me slice. It's not recommended, but it'll let me slice. And here's the print sequence. The last one on the bed, which was the Y, prints first. The middle one, Chep, is second, and the original one is third. The first one on the bed is the last one to print. So you set the print sequence by when you place the prints on the bed. Now it's recommended that you don't overlap those keep out areas. That's the safest way to print so the print head won't hit anything and damage your printer. So I moved the chep cubes around so they're not touching each other and then I re-sliced it. And then here they are again. Same order. The last one on the bed, Y, prints first, then chep, and then the X. Now what's the advantage? Well let me show you. If I print all at once, of course I can put them a lot closer, but then I get travel between them and that creates stringing. So you're going to have stringing between these guys. If I print them one at a time, you're not really going to have that movement. So you don't get stringing. In fact, it doesn't show any travel movement in the slicer. Another advantage is I can pick off a few pieces while it's printing. Say I need a bunch of these T-nuts for a project that I'm building, but I only need a few at a time. So I can lay them out on a bed. Here's nine of them all spaced out. And what I can do is put them in a sequence so they'll print at the front first. So here's the first one. And then as it prints, it's going to finish that guy. And then the next one to the right of it. And then the one to the right of that. So the first row will be done. Then it'll start printing the second row until it gets all the way across. And then it'll go into the third row. But while it's printing those other ones, I can pull some of those front ones off as I need it. So I can just come in here while it's printing, pull a couple off, and then go back to my project and start using them. It really helps to have your bed level because it's going to print each one. Now one could fail and it'll still print the other ones, but it's best to have your bed really leveled so you get successful prints at each corner. Now it's clearly not the most efficient use of your bed, but if you don't have a belt printer, this is a great way to print one print at a time. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos that are popping up, and if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.